welcome to the Erin and Krista Show. I'm Erin. And I'm Krista. Today, we are talking about our summer favorites. Our favorite products of the summer. We haven't done a favorites video in a while. Probably this entire year. Yeah, I don't think so. We just felt like doing the monthly favorites was a little bit much because it kind of like encourages you to be a hoarder. <laughs> yeah. To like always want to have something new and honestly, it's just, that's not realistic. You know, unless we were getting sent things, which we're not really. So these are, we're going to do something more like seasonal favorites. Right. Because yes. I do enjoy a favorites video. Oh yeah, me too. It's fun to see what products people are yeah. using, even if they're older products. Right. Um, but as Aaron said, to buy like five new things a month oh, right. would probably add up to like too many dollars a cell phone payment uh, right so also you might notice that our background looks a little bit different you might be wondering where is all the old lady furniture well we are creating a studio space inside of my house so it's in progress and we thought we would take today and kind of do a demo of it so yep that's a white brick wall behind me <laughs> but that's probably not how it will stay but, so you're gonna see things changing up over the next couple of videos and give us your feedback on that too. We'd like to know what you like to see. Do you like us in the living room area setting? You know, are you excited to see something different? So just uh, let us know what that is. Oh God, there's a silver weird thing behind us, but there's nothing we can do about it. Pretend you don't see it. <laughs> they could have not seen it until you brought it up. <laughs> oh, it is that thing? Well, right, it's in a transition space. There's a lot of, there's some construction there's going on There's construction, over here. things that you cannot see. So yeah, okay, so let's get into it. Um, so I've been using, I, so I'm not a big fan of a lot of different um, face primers. I typically don't use them, because uh, I think it creates too much weight and slidiness. But I have been liking this one to wear um, on the days when I'm doodling outside in the summertime. I typically wear the, just this and maybe a little tinted moisturizer. I don't wear it under like my regular Holy. foundation. Right, but like, for instance, we had a picnic the other day for work and I wore it. I wore it when I went cherry picking, you know, stuff like that. So it's called Under Wonder Matte Finish Pore Primer. I wonder under your makeup. It's by mm. Perfectly Posh. Yeah, it's like a direct order, mail order, multi level marketing kind of a deal. Um, and it's a diethylcone based. See, I mean, you can't see because it's clear. But it feels nice on the skin. Do you think it's like the Smashbox? Smashbox photo finish or whatever. Kind of, yeah. I find the Smashbox photo finish can get pilly on my skin, and it actually makes my pores more noticeable if I wear it by itself. Not nah, good. Because you can like they fill in, but then you see them. This actually hides it. And it has a little bit of a scent to it, mm -hmm. and uh, I like it. And I think it retails for something like twenty some dollars. Not too bad. Why do you like it though? Because I can wear <laughs> I can wear it uh, by itself, and it mask my face out, oh, okay. my pores without showing my pores. Okay. And then I can put makeup on top of it in a little bit of they will have without it filling. And it's made in the US, it's all recyclable, I believe it's vegan. So it's like a nice earthy, they follow like that same structure that Lush does about being like oh, okay. earth friendly and all that. It's all like made out of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a lot of product. Oh, hey, your turn. No, oh, hello, since we're on the subject of faces. Um, I've been using for about a month now this number seven. It's the Boots, isn't that who this is? Yeah, Boots seven. Boots number seven. It's the Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum. So it's like an anti-aging serum. You can use it morning and night. And what I've been liking about this is that my face, the texture of my face just feels a lot smoother. And that's my number one problem. So I had seen another YouTuber talk about this. And then so I did some research about it and apparently people like it a lot. It's Consider drugstore because you can get this at Target and mm -hmm. I think in the UK it's kind of like in their drugstore equivalents, right? Walgreens has it too. Walgreens is a huge boots number seven. Okay, thing. but it's I actually got this at Ulta. Yeah, it's on our drugstore side. Oh, yeah, on the drugstore mm -hmm. side, but this is about $25 for this and it's one fluid ounce. So that's the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum for old people's skin like me. Yeah, boots is like their parent deal. It's just a nice. Oh, it's like a creamy. It's just, you know, before it's treatment, before your moisturizer. Oh yeah, it smells like a, a serum. Yeah. You know, I gotta... Oh, it feels nice. Keep this Very going. soft, very soft. So I ran out of my go-to, which is my uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I was like, I just need to grab something because I don't have a chance to go to the stupid department store. Because we have no time to do anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> that should be like on the back of a shirt. For I you. know, I, I literally don't. Do anything. 
I don't. I know. I know your schedule every time. It's horrible. Um, it's the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the matte poreless one. They also make like a dewy finish one. Um, it's what I have on today. It gets pretty good coverage. Pretty matte and poreless. Yeah. And this is $5.99. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the only thing is I'm not a big fan in the SLRs like this too of these kind of Oh, the dumping. The, these guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. So what I do is I take a concealer brush, dip it in, and then wipe it all over my face, and then blend it in with a dumping brush, because I find that that works. But for $5.99, for pretty good coverage, it stays. Um, it doesn't it doesn't mat out as long and like stay as harsh as the, um, and I wouldn't say harsh, but just stay as long as the Estee Lauder. But I mean, what do you expect? It's right. $5.99, and Estee Lauder's like 40 But it's nice, and it does fit your skin tone pretty easily. And I like it. So also a drugstore foundation that I've been liking this summer is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Now this is like the sister to the Pro Matte, which I also have. Side note, I've never worn a matte foundation before and I bought the Pro Matte because I wanted to try one out because I have been getting like more combo skin. Mm -hmm. Like forever I was like super dry like a dusty mummy, we know this. But now like my forehead, like my T-zone is starting to get shiny and I would notice at work like at the end of the day it would break apart and it would vanish, don't you think? My, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you said to me the other day that my skin looked good and had that on. Yeah. Like, so then I was like, okay, and I read some reviews on the Pro Glow. This is like a demi matte. I think that's what they claim that it is. Yeah, and they do say it's, this is hilarious, 24, 24 hours. Who was wearing their foundation for 24 hours? I do not I suggest that. Wash your face. <laughs> All right, wash your damn face. But it's a radiant finish, but it's not, like I have it on right now, and it's not super, like, Dewy, okay. Like the um, the True Match Lumi is way more luminous. Than oh well, yeah. I so I kind of feel like this is a nice in between the True Match Lumi and the Pro Matte. Nice. So I've really been liking this, and I don't think I paid eleven ninety nine, but that's what it says it is at Target. I think I paid nine ninety nine. Get that blue drop down. Drop down. I swear I paid like nine nine. So somewhere between nine ninety nine and eleven ninety nine. So not too bad. Not bad. Um, okay, so we're moving on to eyeballs. Um, I got a new palette new to me, not new to the world, but new to me. I have the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. Um, I will say though, I do not like when palettes are felt. You don't like the suede finish? No, you know why? Because they get filthy. Dirty, yeah. Okay, you can't keep your makeup that clean all the time. It's no, makeup, it's dusty, it's all over the place. Stop making these, the cosmetics one is made out of this too. Oh, the naturally, whatever. It's yeah, called. knock it off. Nope. Don't like that. But I do like Your these. They're so beautiful and they go on so nice. And I really am obsessed with like these burnt orangey tones right Those now. Those would be great in the fall for just demon eyes. Yep, they give me demon eyes. And so right now I'm doing a lot of this one called Primavera. It's like this golden tone because it's summer and you know, golden eye. Golden eye? Golden eye like uh, James Bond. And I mean, they give you a brush as they always do. It's sorry. Your brush is okay. It's yeah. not the worst thing I've ever seen. No, it's not so horrible. I mean, I used it clearly, it's dusty. But it's a nice one, I like it. I don't know, I think I spent like $45 on this or something like that, but it was. That's a great palette that you could take and do any kind of look. Right, like, like I can use this and then if I'm going somewhere yeah. and just take this with me and only and have like a one and done. And, it's, yeah. and they're pretty generous with the amount that's inside of each of the things. Like there's some, um, like the, the, Lorac, the Lorac Pro 2 palette, I love it, but it, they are, it's a lot of shadows, but they are very right. small wells. You know? I've been using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is a, their pressed finishing powder. It has collagen, silk, peptides, and antioxidants. Ooh. Um, again, because of well, my, because my skin has changed a little bit with my advanced aging, I've been setting my forehead because that's where I my foundation just leaves my forehead. So I've been setting my forehead and my nose and my chin with that basically. I do not set my under eye because then I look like a cadaver. Like I just my skin's dry under there. But I've been liking it for setting my forehead, my nose, and my chin. It's pretty like huh. it like melds into your skin. It's not like too much of powder. No, it's way um, it's prettier little, feeling than I thought I expected it to be. It's not like one of those like, creamy like, powders. I felt it to be silky, like rice flour silky. It's kind of like the NARS crystal powder where you put your brush on it and you're like, no products coming up, but then you dust it on your face and it helps keep things like It feels nice. Yeah. And does it come with a little, yeah, pad, a little yeah. yeah. As you guys know, I'm not really a powder person because my skin is dry, but and who knows, maybe in the winter I will not use this. Because 
because I could turn it into a dusty bumpkin yeah. again. But I've been enjoying this for the summer. I think your skin is just starting to wow, like see little things. Yeah. More so than it ever has. Um, okay, eyeballs, more eyeballs. Okay, we carry a line at my artwork called Mirabella. It's like a salon line makeup. Yep. Line. Yes. And these are their lash extent fibers. Now, it's not like that unique stuff because it's actually inside of a primer, which is nice. So I don't know if you can see that. So it's not like flying around. So you don't have fibers in your eyes. Lying around and yeah. blinding you, which is annoying, right? And so I have this on today. And it actually goes on really nice. It's really soft and very creamy. And it doesn't get like spidery or clumpy. And you have a minute to, like, if it sets and you put mascara on top of it, it's still fine. It's not gonna get like, you know, how they can get. And um, I don't know, I really do like it. And I like, but I do, I really enjoy the fact that it's very buildable. But I like that it's in this crate, it's inside of like a white primer instead of the fibers on the right. Right, because when you take those other ones out, the fibers are just loose in And there. they get everywhere, and the other thing with those little fibers is you have to put a coat of mascara on, then a coat of the fibers, right. then a coat of mascara. <sighs> but if you have fibers, like loose fibers, and you do this, you're gonna blind your, I just got it, this. Oh my, oh my god. Do I have white on my eyes? Nope. Okay. Are you got your actual eye hole? <laughs> if you wiggle with loose fibers, you get them in your eyes. Um, okay, so they're great. And don't get the other fibers in your eye, and these are by Mirabella, and they retail for, I believe, 26. Okay, my next favorite of this summer of 2016 is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. It is a standard tinted brow mascara, but what I like about it is that it is not expensive. <laughs> because there's nothing special about other ones that cost $20 more than this, seriously. So I like this one, it's in the color taupe, I think. Oh, no, brunette. Brunette, and what I do is I brush this through my brows before before I fill them in, this is like a new thing I've been doing because you know I always use the browsing. Well, I wanted to change it up. So this gives me like a fluffier brow. So I just brush this through first so I can see everything. And then I just take the NYX micro pencil, like a tiny little pencil, and I just go in where I need to fill in more. And then I set it, so I do it twice, and then I set it with this too. Does it save you a lot of time? Yeah, because yeah. Oh, I just like sweep it through my brows really quick. And then I can I brush it all up, and then I can kind of see where I need to fill in, and then I fill that in. The brush is good. And then I just go over it again to kind of, kind of set them. Nice. nice. I've been liking this all summer long. The NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I think it's $4.99. Nice. So this is an oldie, very oldie. I still love. I've been using it lately. It's the Old School Great Lash. I really like it. Why do you love it? Um. The formula, I forgot how good the formula was. It was one of those things I used when I was younger and then I was like bigger and better things, you know. Then I graduated to the Voluminous by L'Oreal and then I graduated to like Dior Show and the uh, yeah. Definicel by uh, Lancome and so on and so forth. So then I decided to go back to my roots and I picked one of these up and I like that the brush is so little because I think brushes have gone haywire. Lately. Like gigantic brushes? Like they get big, they're shaped like butterflies, they're shaped <laughs> like cobras, they have like you are, plastic right. things running up here because there's spikes. like spikes everywhere in the ends. This little tiny old school spin spoolie brush gets exactly where I need it to get. I can make my lashes go any which way. It's really good for the bottom lashes. And the formula is almost like, has like a tackiness to it, which is mm -hmm. nice because you don't know when you build up your lashes and then you get to like your I don't know how many coats you wear. I wear like Two. five. So when I take my second coat, my third coat, it starts to dry and I really can't move it. This gives you more play movement. Especially with the fibers together, that's what I have on today. I don't have falsies on at all. I really like it. No, I can tell the difference because I look at your eyeballs like at work when you don't wear your lashes, like and sometimes you just have a little mascara on. This looks different. Yeah, I can tell the difference. Yeah, that's the that and the fibers in this. Because when you go from wearing lashes all the time, like I did for years, I wore them every day, to not wearing lashes, you have like, even though if it's own, in your own soul, where you look at yourself like, ah, I don't think I'm finished. And so I've been really trying to find something that I can get my lashes nice and long without always wearing false lashes. Wearing false lashes. And even though I'm pretty positive it would take me less time to do false lashes than <laughs> I do. But I just don't want to like deal with like, the glue and the poking and all right. that stuff. So this is really nice, I think, um, and it's cheap. I mean, I think it's like $8.99. I don't know, but this is like the holy grail of the mascara that I feel like. Uh, and the first mascara that came in with the form. A little bit of trivia for you. Mr. Coming to Cake. History. A little makeup history. So history. I have one more product. 
for the summer favorites of 2016. And it's a hair product. So I have fine, soft hair, but I kind of like fluffy, matte, kind of messy hair, like muppety. That's kind of what I go for. So this is the Windblown by Redken. I talked about this briefly in a tutorial I did, but I didn't really talk about it that much. So what this is, is a dry finishing spray. So this isn't like a hairspray. This is something that you could use hairspray with it, but you don't have to. When you're done with your style, spray this. I kind of spray it everywhere. Here, I'll do a little. Spray it on my head too. Okay. And then it just, instead of making your hair like soft, it almost makes it like rougher feeling when you get some grit to your hair. Yeah, because I have really Ooh. fine hair that's like flat. So let's demonstrate that I'm kind of soft. She kind of has finer hair too. I think I've seen a lot of it. Ooh. How it makes it like, Ooh, I, I it, like makes it, it, it makes it rough feeling actually. Rough. <laughs> so, so you put it right at the root? I spray it, on me I spray it right at the root and then I also spray it like, I'll take it and just spray it through the end. Ooh, I like that a lot. I mean, you give me some of that. Okay. Which time we it's by Redken. And so it gives me like, ooh, tousled, messy. Which I like that look too. There's just, just but a little video of us doing this with our hair. I know. But it's not sticky, it's not goopy, and so that's why I like, I like matte products in my hair. Like, the only time I use anything that's like remotely like, Silky is when I condition my hair in the shower. After that, I pretty much only use like matte mattifying or like matte products in my hair because I like, I like dry shampoo for texture. So yeah, that's the wind blow. Um, I like this. We don't have anything like this in the salon that we carry, but which you know, I, that's why I use like dry shampoo on my clients when their hair is clean. The work it wouldn't do that, no. No, because that's a hairspray. This isn't a hairspray. This doesn't have holes. This is more for texture. I like it. It even like tells dry shampoo like, would be the closest. See, it even get. says on the back it has. It's like Redken has like their control levels, and this is Miles control because it's not a hairspray. So it says mist on dry style hair to hold any an airy effect. It's tousled and a matte finish. Love it. Windblown Redken. That was all of them. Oh, God. oh. Nothing. So those are our favorites for now. For, for right now. It's actually what I think. This is the things that like those are all the things I've been using every day. Yeah, the, a lot of these are things I for sure I've been using this every day. Oh, yeah. uh, let us know what your favorites are of the summertime. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions, any questions, any opinions? Any concerns? Keep them to yourself. Oh, okay. yes. Keep <laughs> those to yourself. Yeah. Don't be rude. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So that's it. So Give like the video. <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe now. Yep, now. Find us on Twitter and on Instagram, on Facebook. I don't know if anyone, well, nobody likes us on Twitter, so please go follow us on Twitter. Some people like us on is Twitter. Is it Aaron and Krista? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, verify. I'm looking. Listen, Parker. Because I've been trying to be more, I, am in my brain, want to tweet more. Yeah, tweeting is hard to Now, has to, anyone you know? noticed, even you probably don't notice what I've been tweeting? <laughs> What? Thought, makeup thoughts of the day. They're just random thoughts I have throughout the day. I've only done two, but I think I'm gonna try it's to It's at that. Aaron and Krista. Okay, we are so, doing a Q and A. Hi friends, what do you think we should film next? Just don't do it, tattoo magic. I don't know why you can't see the recent things I've done. This is a tweet. No. Are you deleting my tweets? <laughs> I haven't touched your tweets. <laughs> that sounds funny. The Aaron and Krista Show, Twitter, at Aaron and Krista. Facebook, the Aaron and Krista Show. Snapchat. Aaron and Krista. And it, okay, when in doubt, Aaron and Krista. Well, we don't snap. I'm just gonna, we try. We try, and it's hard. Um, so that's why I'm gonna try to tweet. Tweet. Tweet, lee, Tweet. Tweet, Anyways, tweet. Thanks, bye. Tweet. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye.